Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about something I'm very passionate about and that is selling digital products. I'm not gonna talk about selling digital products though. I am going to show you how to create your own space in the internet to sell your digital products. When I started selling my digital products, I started with Canva templates and I sold that for over two years on Etsy. And over the past year, I started transitioning out of Etsy, meaning that I still do have my shops on Etsy, but I wanted to create my own space that was independent of Etsy because it's best to have somewhere that you can call your own just in case um, you are not able to sell on Etsy again. When I first started, I used Shopify and Squarespace. There's nothing wrong with Shopify and Squarespace. As a matter of fact, I enjoyed using them because before that I used WordPress. If you've ever used WordPress before, you know that it is not the most user-friendly. So what ended up happening was I spent months trying to create my digital shop and I ended up just giving up. And one day I decided to try Squarespace and the process was so much easier. And then I also tried Shopify and it was even easier. And today I'm not using Shopify or Squarespace. I'm using a different product called Payhip. I'll create another video where I compare Shopify, Squarespace, WordPress, and my experience with Payhip. But I thought I would start out with a little bit of background to show you or to tell you how I got to using Payhip and why it's something that I stuck with and I'm going to continue to use for the near future. The main reason why I switched to Payhip was because of the price. Now, when you first start with trying to transition out of a marketplace which drives all your traffic, what you soon realize is that you will have problems driving traffic to your shop. I still have problems till this day, something I am currently working on. However, the problem with using a program like Shopify or Squarespace is that you have to pay for the space regardless of if you're making money or not. So whether you're making sales or not making sales, you have to pay for the platform with Payhip you pay when you sell something. So when you sell a product, you pay for the product you sell. Now they have varying payment tiers that do have a paid option. And I'll show you what the structure is in a second. But what's nice about Payhip is you can get started for free, meaning you can sell products and you pay when you sell a product. So essentially the entire time you're trying to figure out the process of using the website, driving traffic, figuring out your SEO strategy, your email marketing strategy. You can set up your shop and spend days, weeks, months figuring out how to drive traffic without paying every month. For me, that was a huge reason why I transitioned all of my products to pay hip. So let me illustrate very quickly before I show you my websites, the payment plan for Payhip. All right, so we'll go to payhip.com and go to pricing. And when they say they have simple pricing, it means they have simple pricing. It's exactly that. You pay nothing. You do pay 5% per transaction. So you have to pay for a transaction. You do have to pay for that anywhere on Etsy. That's something that's very common for any platform that you sell on. You will pay a transaction fee. You get unlimited products, unlimited revenue. And if you're not selling anything, you're not paying, which is what I tried to explain earlier. Now you do have the higher payment tier, so you can pay monthly. And the advantage of paying monthly is that you have lower transaction fee. And of course, if you don't want any transaction fee, depending on how your business is doing. So let's say you are driving a lot of traffic and you're making a lot of money, then you can opt to pay for the pro plan. My point is you can get started with all of the features and not pay anything and only pay when you sell something. I mean, this plan for me is so perfect. It is perfect for people that are transitioning out of Etsy because you can take your time, develop your strategy to drive traffic without paying for something that is not making you money. 
All right. So that being said, the next thing I want to do is show you my websites. Okay. I'll show you what my websites look like, the ones I designed on Payhip, and then I'll show you some of the functionality. All right. So right here, this is my first website It's called designs by Darwin from my Etsy shop called designs by Darwin. So it's basically a copy of my Etsy shop and I have a blog, a tutorial page. I have resources and here is my template shop. So this is just like any other homepage you would find for most websites. You can build something that looks like this on Shopify. I think it looks pretty good. It is mobile friendly. So it's responsive if you're using a cell phone, a laptop, a tablet, very mobile responsive. And I'll show you what my digital shop looks like. So here are all of the products that I sell listed here. And you can organize them by different categories, for example, just like you'll be able to do with any other digital shop. And I'll show you real quick the blog section. It's just basically, again, this is how I decided to format it. There are many ways you can format it. I have a page for tutorials where I share the different tutorials on how to use the templates that I sell. And I have a resource section. And this resource section is my affiliate products and so products that I use. Surprise, surprise, Payhip is right here. And I build this in Payhip as well. And you can just share any products that you want to share to generate affiliate income or to just let people know the products that you, you love and you use. All right. So the other website is called JPS digital pages. This is where I sell digital planners, journals, notion templates, and Google sheets templates. All right. So that is the core of what I sell here. And this is the front page. And here we have the shop. As you can see, it has this very clean, minimalistic look, which is my style. Mind you, you can change a lot of things. You don't have to have it this way. This is just what I decided to use for my, my shop. And again, you have the different sections that you can divide your, or organize your templates. All right. And I also have a blog here. You can see it's different from the other one. So you can really structure it however way you want. Now, those are my two shops and I want to show you something that I really enjoy about using Payhip. You can sell other things too and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so here is where you add products. When you go to add new product, here are the different types of products that you can list. This is what I normally use because I sell digital products mostly. You can sell a course here, you can sell membership, you can sell physical products, coaching service, and you could bundle up any of these into a bundle and sell it. I mean, the variety of options it gives you is outstanding. So just in summary, the fact that you can build a shop to get started with $0 and you only pay when you sell something is by far the biggest selling point. I think it's simply astonishing that it would provide a service like this. The fact that then you can add a blog, a selling page, a front page, an about me page, like you would on any website is amazing. So you can get started with all of this without paying anything. And then you spend the rest of the time building your audience and building your traffic. This is how I sell my digital products outside of Etsy. So I use it. I recommend it. I love it. I have links in the description box. So affiliate links, if you want to get started with Payhip, yeah, please go ahead and sign up. And in the next video, because I will have a whole Payhip series, I will show you how I use Payhip. I'll build one from scratch. If you're interested in seeing how I built my digital shops, I will have a video showing you how I did it. So, yep. If you want to see that, leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.